Should have drained the gearbox when I was up there. You want to see it? You are now watching Farming with Duffy Ag. Alrighty, let's actually do some work today. So yesterday I did enough paperwork and I still got more paperwork to do tonight. What did we ran in, run into previously? Headlights. Um, I gotta clean this place up. Stopped at Fleet Pride in uh, Woburn on my way back from my work yesterday and they didn't have any connectors, but the boys up at Chelmsford Electric, I got two. So we'll snip out this wiring, put new connectors in there. Yeah, do it on both of them. That way, it's always awkward. You do headlights and then all of a sudden, hey, a wire's bad. Or the connection flickers, or you hit a bump and it flickers. So we'll do that. Um, then we're... Other than figuring out the air on this, we should be in a decent spot with this truck and some, maybe some tail lights at some point. When you have a trailer on, having nice, it, nice in the back doesn't, doesn't do anything. But yeah, let's see. So we got them on. I'm gonna have to paint this up a little bit. And just some dings and stuff like that. Got them on, all in. Um, yeah, fingerprints from me so lights on that's high beams that's slow beams low beam Woo. I don't think low beam was working prior let's see high beam Oh yeah, it wasn't working, so we didn't have both working at the same time. But high beam, low beam. We'll have to see tonight. But I'll throw that cover back on, we'll do the other side. So I've got the heat shrink, connectors. Yeah, seal it up. I'm not a wiring fan to begin with, but the more I do it, the better I get at it. So that's 100% on that, um, as far as getting better at what you do. What do we got going on here? Oh, this one wasn't even connected, the one. Look at that. So, when I get this one out, you'll see exactly what I mean. So black to black, yellow to yellow, and red to white. Yeah, and that one wasn't even connected, so. That might be why we don't have some lights at certain points. These are original probably. But we're about functional, not just original. So let me get these stripped down. The wires themselves were good. Remember we wired up to it or yeah. We rewired everything in the front. stuff like that so three wires got your ground and you got a high beam and low beam but these should make all the difference so I'm pretty excited actually for these like I said heat shrink because Anywhere you live, any vehicle should have that on it because water gets into things and you're chasing problems that you should never have.
Back in the day, I used to not heat shrink anything because I had no idea what I was doing with it. I learned a lot, and you learn by doing. So, the amount of people that have reached out on the channel that say I've motivated them to try new things and do different stuff and chase their dreams and I'm blown away by you guys. Some of it's probably just people trying to make make my head feel better, bigger. But nah, I'm just kidding. This world's a cruel place and we're all in it together, so might as well make the best of it and support other people that are there for you. So I appreciate you guys. Which does remind me. Merchandise. Yeah, duffyag.com. If it's in stock, it's for sale. I'm not gonna order any more shirts till uh we figure out where we're going or what we're doing. I got a good design idea for a Yanko shirt, but we gotta we gotta get our lives figured out first. So okay, those are good. Black to black, yellow to yellow, red to white. Well, full truck is well LED except for the tail lights. So let me clean this up a little bit. Those should be a lot brighter. We'll see tonight. What are you doing, Yanko? So alrighty, we're good there. Um other than doing airlines, but we're gonna leave that probably this weekend of partying, but I'll pull the corn head over and we'll start pulling that gearbox off. It's been a week. Well, longer than a week since we put tire jet in there. And as you see, it's, it does have a leak still. And somebody said, why don't you throw those tires on here? Because look at how much tread is left. Like the tire itself is good other than like the dash, but should just throw a tube and be done with it and but yeah so tire jet did not fix that one which i i'm amazed oh well, yeah so what do we got to do here we got to strip this thing down completely the broken bolts need to come out of the head here so there's one there and well as you see there's one there so we got to get this whole gearbox off there's a shaft in between, so we gotta get the, sh the coupler ordered. Two couplers, one for each side. Um, I did put new couplers that go in between, so we gotta do that. And then reassemble. The wear part, stuff like that, we're gonna get some more life out of them. Somebody's gonna say, oh, you need this, you need that. For the amount of corn that we're doing, we're okay. Some dividers would be cool, but then we'll str let's get going on this so tell me you got stuck in the mud and your head was buried without telling me you got stuck in the mud and your head was buried if you remember last fall well we got stuck a few times but we got stuck once and the only way out was to go backwards and we used both tractors to get us there but yeah mm. Yeah, it was a great time. Last year was wet. Okay. So, I don't know how heavy this gearbox is or what, but we're about to find out. This has been kind of a struggle. The bolts have come off. They're just super, super tight. Somebody did write that there's a difference between grade 8 and 10.9 or something. I got to do some digging because, yeah, we were snapping bolts last year. Um, and maybe I was putting... Less of a grade. I know everybody and their brother is going to write on that now. And tell me what, what I need. But There is a shaft that goes out here. I'm hoping I can pull it right out. And then we'll be good. Um, and then we'll be able to go work on this. Okay. 
I should have done this last fall and just kept custom chopping. And I regret that. Oh. Oh yeah. <laughs> so that is what I did. Let me show you. So this shaft comes from the main and uh, the threads were pretty well gone, which I think probably wasn't gonna last very long. We welded it right on, stick welded it. So what I'll have to do is just cut those off and then it will slide on. I just welded the end. So if you're new to the channel, let me explain what went on last year. I chopped for the farm. I chopped for one guy, beef guy. Came back, finished up at the farm. Chopper was fighting me at the end of that. Um, nothing on the head yet, but I had fuel filter issues and fixed that and then it ran really, really well. Um, but I left the last job, Sully came and picked me up. We left the last job, and, or left the last field of the farm and headed up north. Got dropped off, chopped and started having, well, then I started having fuel filter issues. So got that figured out, had a good day. And then this, this drum over here started giving me trouble and uh, tore into it. Actually drove up to the main dealer, got the plates up there, thought, oh, that must be it. Started chopping again. Nope, that was not it. So we worked on that and whatnot, and I appreciated their help and their guys. And But uh, I should have taken this apart, fixed it then, and helped them continue to finish their corn. Um, I regret that. But as I said, there was other issues going on, and I, I should have just stuck with it, fixed it, and chopped another 100... 100 acres, so Would have been a better idea All right, let me pick this gearbox up, but that's why this head is like this um, And this was the second third season this will this would have been the third season with this head and it's not perfect But it sure beats a chain head Especially for the price I paid for it Should have drained the gearbox when I was up there You want to see it? That is um, not good. I don't know what that is, but uh, yeah, not good at all. So there's more stuff inside of here that's rattling around. So we're gonna pull it and see. I got it set up, run around, take all the bolts out. This top cover should come out. Ron, I apologize. I forgot who dropped this off and he dropped it off last spring. And it's got a whole rundown of the head. Uh, did I skip it? Somewhere in here. I'll find it, but there we go. So that is... It's got to be these right here. 580 and 210, which are... Rillen Kigler Gurk. Right? <laughs> Somebody. What is it? That's not Dutch, is it? Yeah, it must be Dutch. So. There might be a page that's English, but I don't think so. But I see O ring. Well, alrighty, let's pull it. Got everyone out, right? Yeah. I think this is how it comes out. I don't know. So, you got your wedge bones. I don't know if I got to split stuff or if it's gonna come out right. Yeah, it looks split. Yeah, it's gonna come out. Hopefully. That's split. We'll get it. This is gonna fall over. There we go. 
So I don't know actually what I'm doing here, but we're gonna give it a try. Oh, there's a seal here. So that goes around this one. We're learning. 802 Farmers, I think it was last fall, said if uh, I had any questions with them, let them know and they'd, they'd give me a hand. I don't see a snap ring on this one though. This bearing don't look too good though, but. I definitely don't see a snap ring. I thought there would be. So I'm. Um, that's not a good sign when you got little pieces of metal. I'm just trying to split it now. That comes up through. Hmm. There's that one. So does that one hammer up through? Is that what I'm doing wrong? Let's see. I'd like to get this apart before it gets dark. That might be our issue that it's stuck to that. Oh no, there's two different shafts there. Okay. Is there a snap ring around this that's supposed to come out? Well, this shaft should slide in through it. And I did end up pushing it back all the way out, cleaning up the edges, <sighs> just fighting me. So I gotta put, I guess we'll put a puller. I don't know if that's gonna work or not. I don't wanna break nothing. But it's getting dark to the point. It's almost eight o'clock. Oh, I guess we're not gonna find out. Where'd it go? I don't even know where it went now. Well, oh, that's not even good. What was inside of it? Some other little pieces had fallen out too. So I'm going to leave this right like this. Tomorrow we're going to come back and dive back into it. I'll put my book away. I got to drop the head so that people can get in and out. That's why that pile being there this spring caused a lot of issues because I knew it was going to cause me issues in the future. But that's water under the bridge we're on to bigger and better things and i appreciate everybody who's uh put money towards gofundme checked out duffy ag merch um and just been really good people so we're gonna keep pushing along if you don't know if we're not farming then i'm probably not gonna do any wrenching then i'm probably not gonna have any youtube so that's kind of why and i like doing youtube i enjoy it so it's it's my hobby along with wrenching and farming and everything else and well, alrighty appreciate you guys it's a bit of what's going on oh I guess we will see how this looks it's not completely dark yet but we'll see how the lights look <laughs> I did 
did shut it off. That way if I forgot later. Hot damn. What are you doing? I think it was chasing something back there. This is looking good. I like it. That's so much, that's gonna be so much brighter than you can just tell, so. Alrighty, I'm gonna get out of here. I appreciate you guys. We've had some struggles lately. This is gonna fight us. We just need the right tool. It's too bad I don't have a press. I don't wanna crack anything or ruin anything. Um, but yeah, we'll get it figured out tomorrow. If we can get this, so now that I know that's messed up on that one, we might leave this one alone. I don't know. Um, it might be it just failed apart and this one's not actually close to failing or this one could be failing But we'll fix that then we'll fix the drum that's having issues And I do got a wing that's having issues. So <sighs> You ready to go home? Yeah, he is Appreciate you guys. See you guys on the next one. Have a good one